I've only had one encounter with Joe Biden, and it was while he was before he decided to run for president again. Uh, I was in a wheelchair. I was backstage after speaking. He came up to me. I'd never met him before in my life. He came up to me, put his hands on my shoulders and his forehead on my forehead for oh, several boy. seconds and had conversation with me. If if he had done that as a student on a college campus, under his proposed rule, I would have a Title IX sexual harassment allegation to uh, to weigh, you know levy against him because of his conduct. I heard from many students who had lesser encounters or lesser situations than what I had to encounter with him, and yet he wants this for college students but will not acknowledge and and uh and and uh you know agree to probes into allegations of much more egregious conduct uh on his part against mm -hmm. other women i'm just using it as an example to say this uh administration is so bent on trying to politicize and weaponize a law that was meant to protect women and to give them access to education, not to weaponize it to harm others. And, th you know, this is a really, really bad uh, direction that they're taking with their proposed Title IX rule. And I hope people will speak up about it. Wait, can we just back up? You were in a wheelchair and he came over and he touched foreheads with you? Yes. Oh my God! Why were Man, you just? That. It was no, yeah, disgusting. You don't want to touch foreheads with anybody. I don't. I don't even touch foreheads with my husband. I mean, that's bizarre, and another example of his inappropriate boundary crossing. Exactly. What, what was it that he had to do? Was he saying like, "I have a terrible headache"? Can you feel it? Like, what, what was he saying? How, what, how is this in any way okay to do in public? <laughs> Good question. Um, he asked if I had any hardware as a result of my injury, and I had had uh, and broken my pelvis. Um, then he told me that he had nine screws in his shoulder, but everybody thought they were in his head. And he was oh, doing boy. this while holding onto my shoulders with his forehead pressed to mine. Oh, and, and you couldn't get away. Nowhere to go to or escape. I mean, it's like, so you were basically harassed, the, the legal de definition of sexual harassment by Joe Biden, uh, while in a wheelchair. That's, that's our takeaway here. So as everyone starts to go back to school over the next few weeks, do good by helping feed children who are facing hunger and food insecurity. Our partner, Good Ranchers, is on a mission to donate 100,000 high-quality meals to young children who often go unfed or who are malnourished from poor access to nutritious food. You can join this campaign by ordering a box of 100% American meat. Every order contributes meals to the cause and makes a huge difference in the lives of these children. Good Ranchers is an award-winning food delivery service that brings 100% American meat and seafood to your door. They source the best of American farms so that you can get the highest quality food possible and trust what you are feeding your family every time. Go to GoodRanchers.com slash Megan to join the movement today. You will get $30 off your order, free shipping, and donate food to children in need. Giving back never felt or tasted so good. Let's help them hit and pass their goal of 100,000 meals donated. Go to GoodRanchers.com slash Megan. That's M-E-G-Y-N. You can just use the code at checkout if you prefer. Change the future one meal at a time with Good Ranchers. GoodRanchers.com slash Megan. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.